CIP is about ready to be a big TV star on uh, TV in Auburn, Alabama. Let's watch him. It'll take him about 20 takes, minimum. He'll screw it up. No, you won't screw it up, believe me. We call him 20 take Chad. Hair M. Where in Here outside Media Day, here the Camelback Inn in Scottsdale, Arizona. No, you're good. We'll edit this. Oh, you're recording this? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, three, three, two, one. Well, here we are. Here we are at the Camelback Inn, Media Day, day one. Or here at the Camelback Inn, day one of Media Day. Auburn and Oregon both talk to the media. Here I'm joined by Chad doing 95.5 in Portland, Oregon. And first of all, we know I'm Auburn and who they are. Yeah. Oregon, what's their thought of going in and facing a tough Cam Newton by Auburn offense? Well, I think uh, the Ducks have been confident all season with what they've been able to do on offense. You know, one of the best in the nation, but also on defense, you know, fast. Uh, they're underrated. They've been flying to the football all year. And I think the Ducks, after what they experienced last year in the loss to Ohio State and the Rose Bowl, I think they've got a better plan. I don't think the pucker factor is going to be there. I don't think the pucker factor is going to be there. I don't think the pucker factor is going to be there in terms of their nerves. So I think they're ready to go. You mentioned last year the Rose Bowl against another tough number two quarterback in Terrell Pryor. Is this the same philosophy and approach that they're taking against Cam Newton? That we're obviously we're talking about two different players, but similar in terms of their running ability and their ability to take over games. Yeah, I think the experience, and a lot of people have talked about this, that when you think about the, the last year's game, Pryor was able to get outside the pocket, make plays on third down, third downs, and pick up first downs with his legs. I think that's going to be important in this game. That experience, I think, is going to help. They're more prepared to handle a guy like Cam Newton now after the Terrell Pryor experience. I think Cam's a better player. He's bigger, and I had a chance to stand to him yesterday. They're going to have to gang tackle, but that's something they've done all year. They're a sure-handed tackling team, and I think that's going to help out. But no doubt about it, they know that it starts and stops with Cam Newton in terms of what he's able to do with that Auburn offense. It always has, and it always seems to have been the case all season long. Auburn led by number two, and Cam Newton. 